is a hero among heroes, an infamous pirate who wins the hand of a beautiful princess. Who are you? For years, audiences have thrilled to the exploits of the Dread Pirate Roberts in The Princess Bride. But as you will discover now, behind the mask of this fetching cinematic hero lies a mysterious legend. In 1973, renowned author and screenwriter William Goldman released his abridged account of S. Morgenstern's classic tale, The Princess Bride. The book became an instant bestseller. The Princess Bride reached an even larger audience in 1987 when it was released as a feature film. At the heart of The Princess Bride is a love story between a princess and a swashbuckling hero, the dread pirate Roberts. In the book, the Dread Pirate is described as the most feared name on the seas. And for many years, there has been speculation as to whether Morgenstern based this character on a real person. And so, we asked a number of experts, including eminent historians, professors, and authors, whether or not they believed this to be the case. We begin with renowned pirate expert Robert Ritchie. He has spent years studying the film version of The Princess Bride extensively. Was the character Roberts of the film actually the Dread Pirate Roberts? Well, the Dread Pirate Roberts that I know is Bartholomew Roberts, who's a famous uh, pirate captain in the early 1720s. John Bartholomew Roberts was born in 1682 and as a young man joined Britain's Royal Navy. Roberts could surely have served in the Royal Navy because the Navy during the War of Spanish Succession is very large. Nonetheless, he would have gotten fighting experience. But there are those who refuse to believe that there's any connection between the dread pirate Roberts and the true historical figure. Professor Rorsky of Cambridge University is Britain's leading pirate expert. He freely admits that he has never seen The Princess Bride. Well, I've seen a couple of films, uh, 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 sort of uh, Douglas Fairbanks and Errol Flynn and uh, Burt Lancaster and all those fellows. They were perfectly uh, accomplished uh, actors. But again, it's pure fantasy. I mean, one can't take Hollywood seriously when one looks at these films. These are not... Uh, based on any historical fact, they're all sort of, uh, you know, focused on the uh, swashbuckling aspect of uh, the myth behind piracy, not the facts. For Professor Rorsky, those facts can be found in his own books. Well, I encourage people to read more. You can read my book, um, uh, Jolly Roger, uh, Piracy and the Taking of Booty in the 17th Century. Um, the facts are there. The facts are there if you choose to look for them. But some facts about Bartholomew Roberts are known. In 1719, while working at sea as a third mate, his ship was captured by pirates. A remarkable similarity to Morgenstern's tale of the dread pirate not lost on Christine Lampe, editor of No Quarter Given, the World Wide Web's leading source of pirate information. Bartholomew Roberts is kidnapped by pirates in June of 1719. Much as what happened to Wesley in the movie, Roberts was elected captain by the crew. Gail Selinger is the author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Pirates. A lot of men became pirates because they felt they had a fair opportunity for, to make a living on the sea, even in an illegal operation. Yes, 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 they were both called Roberts, and yes, they were both kidnapped, and, and it is true that they both inherited the title of captain, but that's as far as the similarity goes, really. Taking the pseudonym of Black Bart, the real Roberts began a career terrorizing the world's seaways. But what of his appearance? In The Princess Bride, the dread pirate Roberts wears only black, 
and sports a mask. Among his fellow pirates, Bartholomew Roberts was known as a pop and jay, a very flamboyant dresser. Actually, when he was getting ready for battle, he dressed up in finery. He would wear, there's documentation that he wore a red damask waistcoat, which is a very long vest, and matching breeches, and a red feather in his tricorn hat. But what of the black mask? I mean, there's absolutely no proof that Black Bart wore a, a mask or anything of that nature. I mean, there's never been any written proof of it. And if he had, I'm sure someone would have mentioned something. We would have known about it. So I'm afraid that's absolute hogwash. Like the character in the film, Bartholomew Roberts was considered well-mannered. First, let's drink. Me from my glass and you from yours. He was a teetotaler, meaning he did not drink alcohol, one of the few pirate captains who didn't. I think there was a point where he stated that uh, he didn't like to, to drink to excess. I think that's fair to say, that he didn't like to drink to excess. But to state categorically that he didn't drink at all, I mean, <laughs> I mean, really, all pirates drank. That's like saying, uh, you know, that Vikings didn't drink. I mean, it's just ridiculous, really. In the film, the famous sword fight instantly establishes the Dread Pirate as a swordsman of extraordinary skill. But what of the real Pirate Roberts? Well, he was said to carry two pistols, most likely flintlocks, uh, which he carried um, at the end of a silk sling across his shoulder. Black Bart, like most pirates, is adept at the weapons of his time, and particularly anything with a sharp edge. And of course, a cutlass is the main weapon there. Having been able to go on hand-to-hand -hand combat with as many ships as he has captured, it just can be assumed that he was an excellent swordsman. If the man was very proficient at, uh, at handling a sword or a cutlass, then chances are he wouldn't have needed the pistols, would he? Ergo, it's very hard to say with any absolute conviction that the man was an expert swordsman. I mean, I, if you can show me proof, uh, then I'm happy to eat my hat. Alas, in 1772, the real pirate Robert's ship was attacked by the British Navy off the coast of Africa. A battle ensued. And when the gun smoke cleared, Black Bart was dead. Bartholomew's body was thrown overboard after he died. This was a request that he'd made many a time, and the crew honored his request, for he didn't want his body to be hung in desecration by the British authorities. They often did this to pirates as a grisly warning to others not to turn to piracy. And I often imagine about his body laying at the bottom of the ocean with that diamond cross and gold chain still hung around his neck. Like the Dread Pirate Roberts, Black Bart's legend lives on. Bartholomew Roberts is certainly the most famous pirate of the last great age of buccaneering, the golden age of buccaneering. He was one of the most successful and deadly pirates in history. He is, in my opinion, a legendary pirate figure. 400 ships, uh, over 50 million pounds of booty taken while he was alive in a very short span, one has to remember. It was a busy man. So is there, after all, proof positive that the character of the Dread Pirate Roberts in The Princess Bride was based on the real-life pirate legend, Bartholomew Roberts? There are some clues that the author used Bartholomew Roberts as a template, Black Bart, the name's the same. Both originally started out as poor men. They both came from poor families. We see Wesley as being a poor farm boy. And Black Bart had come from a poor farming family in Wales. Both Roberts started their pirate careers by being forced onto pirate ships and coerced into being pirates, and then ended up both being captains of their own pirate ships. But for some, the comparison is still perplexing. I think it's very demeaning. I think it's, uh, you're, you're talking about one is a purely fictional character, the other is, a, is, a, is a, a legendary figure in the golden age of piracy. 
a man who changed the world. And so it seems finally that almost all scholars, experts and historians agree that when S. Morgenstern penned his immortal tale of the dread pirate Roberts, he had a very real person in mind. Who are you? No one of consequence. A pirate that remains a legend to this day and whose myth and mystique is kept alive by the swashbuckling hero so captivatingly portrayed in The Princess Bride. Drop your sword.